This is the second in a series of videos of a dev blog on a uh, space real-time strategy game that I'm working on. Last video I showed off some of the basic ship commands and, and on flying. Right now I'm in the map room. Uh, as you can see the artwork is not particularly impressive just yet. It's just engineer white boxing. Uh, over here I got my levels. I currently have three. The rest are to be worked on. And just because I have eight or six, I guess seven orbs here, um, that doesn't mean there's only going to be seven levels in the game. There'll be as many as it makes sense to make. Uh, you might also notice that there's a slightly different form of teleportation here. Before I was in a three-dimensional space and I could just go anywhere I wanted. Uh, here I'm restricted to the ground and I have a little grid here that keeps me from, um, should keep me from moving too far outside of the boundaries. Okay, what I want to show off is this map. This is a representation of the space and once I put my hand inside the map it creates a, shows me where I will uh, appear in the game uh, once I press the trigger. So right here I can see these little units are my ships, so if I click there, I can see um, those are my ships. If I want to get back into the map room with no ship selected, I touch the trackpad and I press map, I'm back here. Let's say I want to go somewhere else, let's say like right next to this asteroid, I click there and there it is. Um, one nice thing about this map as a developer anyway is that it's very versatile to different uh, level designs. So you can see right now it's a very square kind of shape. Uh, if I go to my tutorial level, uh, you can see that there's a uh, different layout. The dimensions of the map are different, um, but it always fits on that table. Uh, likewise, level two, this one's uh, even bigger than either of those, but it's uh, largest along the Z axis, so that's why it's this shape. Um, let's go back to the one here. One other nice thing about the map room is this little uh, beacon over here on this table. If I can pick it up and place it inside the map room, let's see, I place it there, you know, I teleport to where the ships are, I can see where that beacon was placed in the game world. It's a good way to find objects of interest. Now, one other way you can use that is if you have a sh some of these like uh, enemy ships here that are moving around, I can grab it and place it on them, and that beacon will follow them around. So if I go in here, I can see that this beacon is following these enemy ships, uh, because it can be a little hard to see objects far away in space like this, so having this nice green glowing object is a good way to find things. And actually, speaking of which, I lost track of where my ships are, so I'll just go right back in the map, and there they are. Now let's see, I can select them, and um, can target, attack, uh, but I covered this in the last video, so I won't spend too much time on this, but I'd like to see one more firefight, because that's always a fun thing to end on. again to the map room. Oh, it looks like this got attached to something else. I'll have to look into that. Anyway, when I uh, also one other thing about the beacon is if I put it outside of the map, then it isn't visible. Uh, so I kind of like to place it on this table when I'm not using it, but here, not visible, move it inside the map, and there it is. Right, thanks for watching. That was the second in hopefully a longer series on this developer blog. Um, see you next time.